The economic growth of Southeast Asian countries is unprecedented. The Philippines, for example, is experiencing one of the fastest growth rates in the region. But parallel to the economic growth, we also see a rise in urban population, unemployment, crime, pollution, and poverty. Central to the cause of this phenomena is uh, rural to urban migration. So why do people in the provinces flock to the city in spite of all the hardships they could be facing? In this video, we will present two economic models to try to explain the structural change in a developing nation's economy. The Louis Fay Rannis model and the Harris Todaro model tries to explain rural to urban migration in developing countries. Let us discuss the Louis Fay Rannis model first. According to the model, the surplus workers in the rural areas will migrate to the urban areas as these workers become attracted to the development rising in the cities. The model also assumes a surplus of workers in the rural areas, meaning there is a lot of uh, unemployment in the rural areas or the provinces. The rising demand for labor in developing urban areas will attract the unemployed from the rural areas to migrate to the city. A rural to urban migration will ultimately benefit society. And once the stock of uh, labor is exhausted, wages are driven up in both sectors. So we have a surplus of workers in the rural areas. So excess of workers without work in the rural areas, and they begin to migrate in the urban areas. So they fill the demand for workers in the growing urban area. The migration of these surplus workers create a some sort of equilibrium in both the rural and urban areas in terms of employment. Full employment occurs in both the rural and urban areas, meaning there are less people who are unemployed in the rural areas now, and at the same time, the urban areas also has full employment. So rural to urban migration will benefit the whole economy. Both sectors will have full employment. And in the absence of surplus labor, this will also increase wages in both sectors because labor becomes more valuable. That is the Louis Fay Rannis model. Please watch out for my video on the Harris Todaro model. That ends today's topic. If you have any suggestions, opinions, I will appreciate it if you leave a comment, especially if you are a teacher or a student. Help me create more content by clicking the like and the subscribe button. Have a nice day.